Welcome to World Transits Today. I'm Art Granoff. July 5th, 2022, we explore three new transits. Mercury square Jupiter, Mars conjunct Uranus, and Mercury opposite Pluto. Let's start out today with Mercury square Jupiter till July 13th, the law or against the law, the Supreme Court. Mercury represents the mind as logical, rational, and efficient, thinking, planning, understanding, or absurd and preposterous, depending on the subject and your point of view. Then bring on the winged sandals for speedy communications. Jupiter expands, is excellence, full of resources. Jupiter's seeing more, catching the bird's eye view. But watch out for saying stuff that only benefits you. Try to regulate personal superiority with a daily spiritual practice. Mercury, Jupiter, the law, religion, originalism, the supreme giant court, a perky supreme court handing out decisions representing the three R's, Republican, religious, or radical point of view. It's an eminence front. It's a put on. Removing abortion from constitutional protection, deleting a woman's right to autonomy and privacy for her body by criminalizing women and their medical doctors, daring them to break the new rules by incentivizing vigilantes against them. That makes sense. More guns everywhere, allowing concealed weapons with no license in New York State. That makes sense. And they also gutted the Environmental Protection Agency, declaring the federal government has no right to maintain clear air standards. That's the state's job, opening the door for dangerous pollutants, destroying health. That makes sense. Mercury, Jupiter, justice, equality, respect. Though watch for speaking from the high platform or court to the unwashed masses. Mars conjunct Uranus till August 26th, a six week transit, the fresh approach, fighting for freedom. Mars is insistent, decisive and impressive. Mars gets things done. Uranus refers to change, discovery and breakthroughs. Mars Uranus standing up for an ideal, what you believe in, directly influencing a change. What needs to be done? Uranus inspires as blowing fresh winds through the sails or through the trumpet. Tough Mars pumped with robust air goes forth. Miles Davis with Mars conjunct Uranus in his chart. The great trumpet player and composer kept reinventing himself every few years writing new material with new bands, trying out new sounds with new instruments. Davis goes electric with In a Silent Way, featuring John McLaughlin on guitar. Also Alex Gray, Mars Square Uranus, the gifted artist. Alex Gray, born 1953, is an American visual artist, author, and teacher known for creating spiritual and psychedelic paintings. With Mars square Uranus in his chart, here's two of his works. Stanislav Grof and St. Albert. Mercury opposite Pluto through July 24th, finding buried treasure. Mercury is essentially the intellect our 24-7 information center, thinking, planning, organizing. Pluto's found in depth, hiking the backcountry, the jungle, or the deep unconscious, underneath the surface, revealing what's strange, uncomfortable, compressing the ego, leading toward inner conflict or interpersonal combat, who's on top, Pluto demands attention now. Mercury-Pluto, deep thinking, 
reflecting profound subjects by tapping hidden resources within ancient books, scriptures, law, philosophy, Mercury, Pluto, consciousness research with psychedelics, then integration using a symbol system like archetypal astrology, writing from your core, piercing the surface, finding a treasure, Mercury, Pluto. Welcome Stanislav Grof, born 1931 with Mercury conjunct Pluto in his chart. Stan takes LSD in 1956 as a young psychiatrist in Prague. He discovers the extended cartography of the psyche that's similar to various ancient Hindu and Buddhist systems. Along with Christina Groff, he develops holotropic breathwork. He writes Way of the Psychonaut, an encyclopedia for inner journeys. And Richard Tarnas, Born 1950, Mercury opposite Pluto. In 1976, he completes his PhD in psychedelic therapy with Stan Groff on his dissertation committee. At Esalen, he studies with Joseph Campbell, Gregory Bateson, James Hillman, and more. With Stan Groff, he creates archetypal astrology. He writes Passion of the Western Mind then cosmos and psyche, Mercury, Pluto, penetrating the surface, bringing up the jewels. Thanks for joining me on World Transits today, everybody. Exploring new transits this week. Watch World Transits at my site, Reference Astrology. Hear the audio version at Apple Podcasts. Contact me directly at Reference Astrology for a birth chart and transit reading, where we explore the planetary archetypes, place them on your chart, revealing your personal transits to see what's up for you. And join me in August for my new course, Picture an Hourglass, Learn Archetypal Astrology with your chart. All the details are at referenceastrology.com.